Welcome to Pebbles channel. Today we will be doing counting in fives. So as we have already seen counting in fives is 0 to 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. So we have a cup with five different five ice creams of the same color. So I have one, two, three, four and five. Five ice creams in this cup. So I have grouped the ice creams into five each. And I have the next five in this cup. So all of us like to eat ice creams, don't we children? And it, I, we like it to be in different colors and different flavors as well. So I have five brown ice creams. One, two, three, four, five. I have the next in the shape of an heart. This is one, two, three, four and five. So I've grouped these ice creams into five each. The next I have stars. One, two, three, four and five star ice creams. And I have five pink colored flowers. One, two, three, four and five. So I've grouped it into five each and I have five cups which comes to 25 ice creams. So today by learning counting in fives we will learn the table five. So shall we do the skip counting? So, skip counting Skip counting in fives. So it will be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, and it goes on. So one example, another example is the number of fingers you have on each hand. So if you count, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five fingers on my left hand and I have the next five fingers on my right hand. It is one, two, three, four, five. So I have five this side and five this side. In the same way, on our feet, we, I have five toes on my right leg and five toes on my left. So these are all counting in fives. Now we'll do skip counting in fives using the number line. So we are going to write the numbers. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So now we are going to do the skip counting in fives. So from 1 we go to number 5. From 5 we skip count 6, 7, 8, 9 and we come to 10. From 10 we go we skip count 11, 12, 13, 14 and we come to 15. 
from 15 we go we skip 16 17 18 19 and we come to 20 from 20 we go 21 22 23 24 25 so we skip count using the number line we do skip counting using the number line so we have got 5 10 15 20 and 25 so by using the number line we can do the table 5 so today i'm going to teach you a simple method of learning table 5 so are you ready children to listen to me yes you can follow these small tips so shall we move on to table 5 so first we will start off by drawing a 5 by 2 column a 5 by 2 column so we have two rows and five columns one two three four and five so we have two rows and five columns one two three four five five columns so we will start off by writing the ones place first in each column so we will start with five we will follow this pattern in the first column i'm writing five in the second column i will write zero in the third column again i will write five in the fourth column i will write zero in the fifth column again i will write number five so we will follow this pattern so we are writing the ones place first then we come down to the second row and we write zero in the second column five in the third column zero in the fourth column five and in the last column zero so are you listening to me children i will explain this again once more so we will start off by drawing a five by two row column and row so we have two rows and five columns and we start off by writing the ones house or the ones place the place value for ones so we will follow this pattern so in the first column i'm writing five in the second zero in the third five in the fourth zero in the fifth five again come down zero again in the seventh i'm writing five in the eighth column zero in the ninth column five and in the last column zero so i hope you've understood till now now we are moving on to the tens place so in the tens place again we follow a pattern so in the first column i will write a zero so th this is the tens house or the place value for tens and when i go to the next column i will write one and again one i will write then in the next column i will write two and two again i come down to the second row and i will start with three and three again in the next co column i write four and four again and in the last column i will write five so we are following a particular pattern so we start off with zero this is the pattern that you follow for the tens place so it is zero one one two two three three four four and five so this is the pattern that we are following to write the numbers in the tens place if you take the ones place we are starting with five zero five zero five zero so we go on like that so now if we write the uh, play, uh, table for five we will we can check our table so the place the table for five so have you understood we have five ten fifteen twenty 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So this is your table 5. Now we will write the table 5 in its order. So this is table 5. So 5 in 5 times 1 will give you 5. 5 times 2 gives you 10. So 5 times 2 will be 5 plus 5. 5 times 2. So both my hands together give you 10. So 5 times 2 is 10. Next. 5 times 3 gives you 15. 5 times 4 gives you 20. 5 times 5 gives you 25. 5 times 6 gives you 30. 5 times 7 gives you 35. 5 times 8 gives you 40. 5 times 9 gives you 45. And 5 times 10 gives you 50. So if we keep our table that we had done and check we have the same answer. So 5, time, five times 1 gives you 5. 5 times 2 gives you 10. 5 times 3 gives you 15. 5 times 4 gives you 20. 5 times 5 gives you 25. And 5 times 6 gives you 30. 5 times 7, 35. 5 times 8, 40. 5 times 9, 45. And 5 times 10 is 50. So this is your table 5. Uh, so I do hope you understood how to do the table 5. This is just a small tip for you to learn.